friends what's up uh, it's been long since i posted anything on this channel so i would like to apologize for that i was caught up with my office work finally got some time so posting this interesting tutorial on street photography for you photo enthusiasts hope you will be able to gain something out of it uh, street photography is uh, something very close to my heart and i enjoy it doing most because it's very dynamic in nature it gives me a chance to capture random incidences in public places and narrates a story. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about what is street photography, couple of golden rules of street photography, uh, basics in terms of the gear or camera equipments that are best suited for it, and finally, general camera setup. All right. Uh, so let's start with what is street photography. It is a type of photography that features subjects in candid situations uh, within public places, right? Uh, street photographs are mirror images of society displaying unmanipulated scenes with usually unaware subjects. Well, uh, if you ask me, uh, it is all about storytelling. Street photography is uh, very different than other forms of photography uh, instead of being about capturing the perfect balance of light and color it's about capturing the human condition in streets i think that uh, photographs are the most powerful communication medium you have access to no matter who you are or what resources you have you see a photograph uh, is worth a thousand words uh, it captures and conveys the emotions of a moment that has passed a medium of communication that has no barriers, no language and street is a place that gives you a chance to just do that, isn't it? Thousands of people, thousands of stories, millions of emotions, every second, every moment. To be honest, uh, at this uh, very moment, uh, as I'm creating this video, I feel like hitting the streets with my camera gear. But no, I'll uh, complete this video first. I, I want to uh, show you some of the pictures uh, that I took on streets. So let's have a look. Uh, fearless kid posing for his father. Then I clicked this picture on a weekend at Orchard Road, Singapore. Orchard Road is a uh, happening place and people usually come there with uh, their families to have a good time. I, I was watching this family and they instead of you know talking and connecting with each other. Uh, Father and daughter are busy on their phones and mother is looking away. I clicked this picture in Cambodia. A young traveler with very different views about life got a chance to talk to him for a while and it was very interesting. You got to acknowledge that uh, street photography is not uh, perfect and it's okay because there is no setup. The subject is not in your control. That golden moment which you want to capture comes and goes away in few seconds. Your photographs uh, may not be 100% technically right, but uh, that's okay. That is kind of exemption street photographers get, I believe. If you look at this photograph, it is not 100% technically right, but it speaks a thousand words. The displeasure on the face of the girl can be seen clearly. Having said that, uh, I will talk about couple of golden rules of uh, street photography. First important thing is it has to be candid. A candid picture, in my opinion, is the ultimate goal in street photography. By candid, I mean uh, taking a shot where the presence of the photographer does not alter the scene. Indeed, uh, people have a tendency to modify their behavior when they find themselves being photographed. Some will smile, others will look away, while most of the subjects will look at you uh, in a puzzled way. So it has to be candid. Secondly, you got, to, you got to wait for the moment. Watch people's behavior and body language. Anticipate moments before they happen. Follow human interactions. Stand in a spot for an hour or in a specific area. Wait for the moment to happen rather than you know, searching the streets for it. Uh, this picture, particularly uh, one of my favorite, I clicked in India and 
it was a festive season that time every time uh, sorry everyone was so happy around and i was watching this old lady uh, a street vendor from a distance she seemed very sad and in deep thoughts okay let's uh, move on to gear or camera equipments uh, that are best for street photography of course uh, you should have a dslr uh, regarding lens i would recommend you to have a 35 mm or a 50 mm prime lens that has classic focal lens for streets uh, for a number of good reasons for one uh, these lenses tend to be relatively small helping you as a photographer appear less intrusive to your potential subjects as opposed to carrying around a long zoom lens two the 50 mm uh, lens delivers images that uh, appear most natural to what the human eye sees uh, when we look at a scene when a person look at your images shot with a 50 mm lens they will be viewing something that simulates what they actually would see if they were there 3 50mm's ability to shoot in low light conditions because of its large aperture and lastly i would like to mention uh, 50mm's image quality since it's a prime lens no other lens can match it in terms of image quality it produces I myself use 50 mm uh, f 1.4 lens, and I'm a big fan of it. I've provided a link in description below. If you want to buy 50 mm lens, you can buy online from Amazon. Now I will talk a bit about general camera settings that you can use at streets. First and foremost is autofocus. As uh, we are beginning to learn, we are not that proficient to use manual focus. So initially, I would suggest. to use auto focus mode second use program mode program mode will automatically choose aperture and shutter speed i recommend using uh, an iso of 800 to 1600 during the day time depending on how bright it is and finally a uh, general rule of thumb uh, you generally want at least 1 by 250th second of a shutter speed uh, when in streets this allows you to freeze the motion of the people who are walking around so when you choose a uh, high iso between 800 to 1600 your camera will shoot at high shutter speed which is what you want so uh, these are some general guidelines to start with but you can always experiment with your settings for example this photograph uh, i took in a shutter priority mode at 1 by 30th of a second which allowed me to pan across and capture the background motion as you can see so uh, i think that's it for now i hope this tutorial will help you in terms of uh, street photography please subscribe to my channel you can also comment uh, you can also connect with uh, me on facebook using this link and uh, which is also given in the description so bye bye for now happy photo shooting guys and uh, see you soon bye bye